ESPN just released, just yesterday, they released projections for finishing records of the Eastern Conference teams. Let's take a look at them. Let's break them down. Let, let's see where they got the Philadelphia 76ers, shall we? What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to the Sixers Break Room, the realest, the illest, NBA YouTube channel on YouTube. I, I guess I just said YouTube channel on YouTube. That was mad redundant. Whatever. You know what it is, man. This is the Sixers break room where we talk about the Sixers, but we also talk about other teams. If you don't believe me, just look at all the Clipper fans that I made mad a couple videos ago when I called the Clippers overrated. Listen, if you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Matter of fact, just like it now because you already know you're going to like it. So, so just like it now. ESPN just put out a projections of where they think Think these Eastern Conference teams are going to finish up. They take a look at the playoff team, so the top 10 projected records in the Eastern Conference, and we're going to take a look at them right now. Number one, they got the Boston Celtics with 54 wins, 28 losses. In second place, they got the Milwaukee Bucks tied for 54 wins and 28 losses, followed by the Miami Heat, 51 and 31. In the fourth slot, they got my Philadelphia 76ers, 50 and 32, followed by the Raptors, then you got the Hawks, and then rounding out the playing games, you got the Cavs, the Bulls, the Nets, and the Knicks. Now, we're going to talk about my Philadelphia 76ers in this video, the ESPN projection of 50 wins. I think that's probably right on the mark. Last year, the Sixers won 51 games, so they, they expect them to win one less game this year, but this is why I think it's a fair projection. Unlike what many, many, many of you Clipper fans feel uh, based on the comments of that video, I am not a biased fan. I am not a hater. I am none of the above. When I look at the Philadelphia 76ers, I see 50 wins as being a likely outcome for many of the reasons why I think that the Clippers are a little bit overrated. Health, right? Embiid never plays a full slate of games. Last year was the most amount of games that he played, and he still missed a bunch of games. James Harden, we don't know what his health is going to be like. He he looks like he in shape going based off of the videos I've been seeing this offseason, and hopefully the hamstring is better, but you just never know. He missed some time with the Nets last year. Was it because he was trying to force his way out? Was he actually hurt? Listen, I don't know, man. I just know that the best ability to, is availability, and Joel Embiid and James Harden are not always available. I think you throw that in with the fact that I kind of believe that Tyrese Maxey, while I think he's going to have a good year, I'm not sure statistically he's going to take a huge jump the way other people believe because there's going to be a lot more attention. you got a whole year of film on Tyrese Maxey. He's going to be circled on the scouting reports. You're bringing in a bunch of new pieces who are expected to be key pieces like P.J. Tucker, Daniel House. You know, you got uh, uh, DeAnthony Melton. So you're adding some pieces that are going to be big contributors. You have your two best players who have a little bit of an injury history and are not always available. And I think when you combine those two things with the fact that you won 51 games last year, I think 50 is a fair number. Could they win a few more? Yes. Could they win a few less? I certainly hope not, but depending on the injuries, it's definitely possible. Me personally, I think the Sixers are going to win somewhere between 50 and 53 games, 52, 53 games on the year. So I'm not mad at ESPN projecting 50 wins. I am a little bit surprised that they got the Milwaukee Bucks only winning 54 games. I say only, like they still project them to have tied for the best record in the East. But I think the Milwaukee Bucks are, are, are a very good team. I think they're going to be very good this year. Giannis is the best player in the NBA, but you also have to worry about that Chris Middleton injury. He got the thumb surgery this offseason. I'm not really sure when he's going to be back. I'm going to be honest. I haven't looked into it, and maybe that's why they have the Bucks only winning 54 games. As far as the Celtics go, Celtics coming off of a finals appearance, they, they added to their team with Brogdon and Danilo Gallinari, so I'm not surprised to see them at the top. And the Heat, they got that defense, they got Bam, they got Jimmy. The big wild card is what's going to happen at the trade deadline or maybe even before that. Was like a team like the Knicks. Are the Knicks going to add Donovan Mitchell? Are the Heat going to add Donovan Mitchell? Are the Nets going to trade Kevin Durant? It looks like they will. He, he seems to be saying it's either me or Nash, and the, the organization seems to be back in Nash. So, I mean, we don't really know how, to, how these things are going to shake out, but ESPN projecting that the Sixers are going to have 50 wins. I think it's fair. Like I said, you got the injury history of Harden and Embiid. You got all these new key pieces. It's not just new guys who are going to play a small role. These are guys who we as fans think are going to play a big role. And it's about what you won last year. You know, time will tell. 
ESPN is not always right. Sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes it's a little bit in between. But we'll just have to wait and see. I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think of, of ESPN's projection of the Eastern Conference? Do you guys think that the Sixers are, are going to win more or less than 50 games? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel. It's free love. It costs you nothing, and it means a whole lot to me. If you want to support in other ways, become a member. That link is in the description below. And I will see you guys on the next video. This is the Sixers Break Room. Peace.